after nearly four weeks of being in the Philippines, traveling from the north of Manila and then heading all the way down south to this place, Zamboanga City. It's time to go and find and discover a new country. So I am at the airport right now. I'm heading to Borneo. So my flight at the moment is going from here to Manila, going back there. And then I'll be going from Manila to Kota Kinabulu. Hope I'm saying that right, which is in the Malaysian part of uh, Borneo. So my flight is in about two hours time. I've come here two hours early. And uh, this international airport, and I'll just give you this little sign I've got there. Sampawanga International Airport. It's probably one of the smallest international airports I've been to. It's uh, not very high tech. Uh, there is security everywhere. And this is just a normal internal flight within the country. Even before you get to check in, you get all your bags um, zapped through, checked, everything. Now, I was going to go straight into departure lounge and just chill out down there, but I don't think the aircon's working, so it's actually cooler out here than it is in there. It is 30 degrees thereabouts. So, all the way around me is there's all the taxi drivers there. Drop off point here. Um, for an international airport, it's not really big, but then again, not many people come to Zamboanga International Airport. There is only two airlines that fly from here. That is the Philippines Airline and Cebu Airlines. So there's only two check-in desks and that's it. So interestingly, it's, uh, it's hot, I'm tired, and the flight going to Manila is going to be two hours. I've got four or five hour layover. Oh, someone's going on the holidays. And then it's a two hour flight from uh, Manila all the way to Borneo. So I'll be taking you all the way. Now, it'll be a bit sad to say goodbye to the Philippines. It's been interesting, but not exciting. Because I went off the beaten track, I went to cities and towns that are not on the tourist map. I think I might have done the wrong thing instead of just going to tourist places. But you live and learn. Right, I am now going to go into the departure area, go through security yet again, which will confuse me. Which will probably confuse them because of the fact that I am the only Westerner in the whole of Sambuanga city. I've not seen any other European, Australian at all in the three days of being here. So, I'll take you through, once I get through security, I'll get my camera back out and you'll see the check-in place and then we'll go through into departure lounge. Woo -woo. So this is the check-in area. Uh, so that's uh, Cebu Pacific over there. And then you got Philippines Airlines over there. And this is it. Now, when I came through security, yet again, which is behind us, I was asked, are you a senior citizen? And I should have said yes, and we were pushed forward to you. But I was so offended. Senior citizen? Not yet. Do I look that old? So, um, for some reason, they put the aircon back on. It's a lot cooler now. And there is the porch area, which I'm going to go through. And this is it. This is the porch lounge. So you go through yet another security, which is only about 100 meters away from the other security to get into the airport. You've got two cafes, Chintos and a small one over there. And 
it was just a very small airport. There's eight gates. We've got a massage therapy over there. It is busy. Well, I've got an hour to go before I head off. So I'm going to sit down, find a seat and chill. Passport checked. Now we're about to get on the plane. I've just followed the people in front of me because there's two planes. I know one's going to the island of Tawi Tawi. Let's hope it's not this one. Deadly enough. Wow. They've got umbrellas. Hi. 12F. 1F? 12F. No, 12F. Left side, wrong side. I'm now in Manila Airport and that flight was quite decent. Um, I was put next to the window exit so I had to get rid of my bag and get the camera out. But it was in time to come time. The menu was good, even though you had to pay for it. But I'm now just waiting for my bag. So because I've been on a domestic flight, I need to grab my bag to go to the internal one. But this flight is costing me 198 pounds. I got the flight through Kiwi.com which is an app that I use mostly for whenever I check out for cheap flights. And this is a lot bigger than the last airport I was in. Sambawanga. You've got a lot to live up to. So I am just a bit for my bag whenever it may turn up. And then gonna head up to International Desk. Half an hour. Half an hour I've been waiting for my bags to come through on this carousel and it is a bit high tech because you've got cameras on the outside showing you where the baggage trips are and people waiting around to put them on the carousel which I've not seen before it's actually quite well designed airport all them baggage uh, carousels over there is behind glass and that's the international side that we come through. So they've got customs through that way. And this one's uh, domestic. I made the mistake of going outside only because I didn't see any signs for departures. So when I got outside, uh, I looked for departures. I had a woman saying you want a taxi and I said yeah well, we need, need little departures we'll get the taxi it's upstairs she's gonna get me a taxi to drive me to upstairs crazy right so we're heading towards departures oh. departures uh, it's a good job someone stopped me and asked me for a ticket because I assumed I was flying with Philippine Airlines but I'm not I'm flying with Air Asia just got to work out where I'm going uh, it's a busy old place Air Asia just check to see if my flight's on the board. There it is. Contact Kinapalu. 
and there's no queue. Oh, even better. Now, it is quarter past six. My flight is at 10 past 11. Oh, a few hours to go. So that's me through into international departures of Manila Airport. Customs just behind me. Uh, the queue for foreigners was massive. So what they did was they took the people at the end and shut them through the diplomatic side, which was me. Now I have got by the time we took to get through customs, it was 10 past 7 now. Starts boring about 11, quarter 11. So I've got a lot of time to spare. Now if you have been following me and you're probably wondering what this is with a bad achieve. I've got a cold so just right on my lip and I usually get these every now and again when my body is run down and I feel run down and uh, travel is not as exciting as some people may think because it's a lot of it's every single day you're out and about either traveling or sightseeing as well as the course I have got uh, a run down body I've got a bit of cold I just feel like uh, so I am planning once to get to Borneo to take a couple of days off it's about an hour and a half before I stop on and usually when you get to the boarding gate two hours an hour and a half beforehand there's usually people here I'm the only one and I know it's a great flight because it's there on the board on the screen so maybe they're all at the coffee shop that I've just been in for a very expensive coffee and a sandwich oh my god I keep forgetting how expensive airports are but Manila airport this time of night and this is towards the end of all the gates down that way it's so busy so busy so I have got a hostel booked on the other end I land in Borneo at I think it's about just after 1.30 in the morning and by the time we get out of the airport I'll pass my check all that lot you know it's going to be at least 2.30 um, and I was glad to find out that there are so many hostels in the city that I'm going to. However, none of them, except for one, just 24 hour booking, and that was not a cheap one. It's £10 a night. But uh, I've been to them already to see that I'm going to be there late, make sure that I've got a bottom bunk, because I don't want to be climbing up to the top bunk in the dark, half asleep, because I will injure myself. Um, there is still people around. Shall we all, let's have a wonder. Let's see what's about. I'm just sat here by myself, talk to you. All right, I'm gonna have a little walk around, show you the sights and sounds of Manila Airport half past nine at night so basically when you're coming through the customs down that way uh, there's a few few places that are open and then it turns into one long sort of lot of gates a lot of shops not that many takeaway places 
like the fast food joints. There's not many G3 shops, neither. There's one. So there's a small selection of alcohol, but no cigarettes, which is um, the first I've seen in any airport around the world. Right, even though I've got an hour left before the board starts, I'm going to grab a coffee. There's only so much of sitting around I can do. Um, Cigars. Potato corner. Coffee time. It's quarter eleven. And it's boarding time. There's a few people. A lot of them have gone through already. I don't think it's a big plane. Oh. So instead of just queuing up and then walking down to the plane to queue again, I'm just going to chill. So, a long walk to the plane. Just by Bali. To the Philippines. I knew they'd be a deal. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Yes, yes, thank you. Hi, And that's me in Bolio. The flight was delayed by half an hour because of documentation and turns it now it's coming up to five to two in the morning and I've just gone through uh, customs which was oh difficult right is my back here is that it yes so they've introduced a new thing where you've got to register um, at least three days beforehand. Um, like you said, it's a new thing that just started. Uh, it's a QR code. It's on the screen now, so if you ever do come over here, it's there. Uh, it's easy enough to fill in. Um, nobody knew about it, so everybody was just there with the QR code, and uh, the Wi Fi here was really good. So, because I've got Wi-Fi, um, I'll try and get the hostel, which I think is about a 20 minute drive away. Um, the Grab app works around here with all these people. They're all still filling out the, the forms. <laughs> oh, duty free. Uh, which is rival hall, right? No cameras allowed. So that's me out with a rival hall. That is Borneo out there. I've already forgotten the, forgotten the name of the city. So my job right now is to find an ATM as I do for every single airport I go to. And it's not just to get money out, but to let the banks know that I've arrived in a new country, the country that I'm in. And it should stop them from cancelling my card. Well, that's the idea. I can't find an ATM. Very quiet round here. That's me checked into the hostel. 
my mood behind is I've just dropped my bags off. It's quarter past three. Um, it's pitch black in there. So dark. There's two people, I think, in there. Um, so I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. There's so many rooms. But, but yeah, from the airport, I got a grab taxi. Uh, and there's, I have no idea how much it cost because it went straight up my bank account. I'll find out tomorrow, today, whenever. But I've now been able to sleep um, and have a line tomorrow, today. But if you've enjoyed this video, press that like button. If you want to subscribe, Go ahead. But for now, bye bye for now.